about to listen to the voice of deliverance by Apostle Evans Osama of Christ and His Church Ministries International, aka Arena of Deliverance and Recall. There is no how an empty pot, pot can be what can be boiling. Just as I told you, the spirit have no shape. You can feel the spirit, you can perceive the move of the spirit, but you cannot see a spirit. A spirit can be invoked into a pot and be covered. The destiny of a man can be invoked into a pot and be covered. The star of a man can be invoked into a pot and be covered. The wedding ring of a woman of a man can be invoked into a pot and be covered the certificate of a man can be invoked into a pot and walls all these are in the pot these things can be cooked hey. i prophesy hey. in this service that pot will scatter hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. i said that pot will scatter hey. destroying evil pots can you shut it and repeat it with me my beloved condoms are pots and are almost earth clay pots they are earth clay pots and to be frank with you these are weapons of witchcraft they can be owned by individuals they can be owned by a family and it can be owned by a city my beloved there are men and there are women who use ports as a custodian of people's destiny and people's lives just follow me carefully there are wicked men there are wicked women who use ports to cage the destiny and the lives of men in jeremiah chapter one quickly jeremiah chapter one let's look at the scripture please follow me carefully in verse 13 there are men and there are women who put the lives of men in a pot a man don't need to see you before he can fight you what a man needs is the spirit of a man to fight a man and when the spirit of a man is being captured i am telling you the man has been caged and I don't know where your spirit are or your spirit is at this moment. All I know, your spirit is with God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the word of the Lord came to me the second time. And saying, the word of the Lord came to me for the second time saying. What do you see? What do you see? And I said. And I said. I see a boiling pot. And I, it is facing. I me. see a boiling. That means a pot was being cooked follow me carefully yes sir. and the word of god came to me for the second time and said what can you see and the son of god replied god and said i see a boiling pot not just an ordinary pot that means a pot can be cooked and you must try to understand there is no how an empty pot can be boiling Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, there is no how an empty pot, pot can be what can be boiling. Yes. Just as I told you, the spirit have no shape. You can feel the spirit, you can perceive the move of the spirit, but you cannot see a spirit. A spirit can be invoked into a pot and be covered. The destiny of a man can be invoked into a pot and be covered. The star of a man can be invoked into a pot and be covered. The wedding ring of a woman of a man can be invoked into a pot and be covered the certificate of a man can be invoked into a pot and walls all these are in the pot these things can be cooked hey. are you hearing what i'm saying yes, sir. we are not just in a church for cinema yes. we are in a church for impartation and spiritual endowment you must be empowered for you to become powerful and when you are not powerful you'll be overpowered hey. I feel like speaking here. I feel like speaking here. We are not in the days of Yaga Yaga Christian. We are in the days of empowerment. Bible says in those days the Spirit of God will come upon our flesh. And you must try to understand we are not in the era where one man prophesy because the Spirit is upon our flesh. Is somebody hearing me? If you hear me, say go further. And the word of God came to me for the second time. A, there was something God showed me this early morning. I think around around 3 a.m. There was a very terrible killing. A woman killed a, a brother, and the thing became a very big issue. A big issue where the shops now locked. It happened here at Job CBD. We have been praying against it. 
Because if that happens, people will not come out for this. Because it's going to come out like a riot. Like xenophobic attack. Because it will involve tribal issues, nations, and all that. But the Lord will not allow the plans of the enemy to succeed. Amen. And the word of God came to me for the second time and said, my son, what do you see? He said, I can see a boiling, not an ordinary pot, a boiling pot. And whenever there's a boiling pot, there's a cook. Yes. Yes. Who is cooking your destiny? Yes. Who is cooking your star? Yes. Who is cooking your greatness? Yes. Listen, let me speak to somebody here. Yes. When a wedding ring is being cooked, the love will be taken away. Yes. Is somebody hearing me here? Yes. When a certificate, it doesn't matter how successful you were or how successful you are in a particular school, when the certificate is in a condron, condron is a pause. Yes. When it's in a condron, no matter how intelligent you are physically, no matter the number of people you know you can be employed yeah. is somebody hearing me here yes, sir. there are so many people who their pen their red pen has been taken from them and their pen is in the pot yeah. i profess in this service that pot will scatter Amen. yeah 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 i said that pot will scatter Amen. there is no how you can take a money that is cooked to buy anything is somebody hearing me? There's no how you can take money that is cooked to buy anything. And the Spirit of God began to minister to me that when life is in a pot, a living being can become a dead being. Is it becoming deep? I see a bony pot and it's, fair and it is facing away from the north. Now watch it. There are people who are in a particular city. Now the other city can be doing well while the other city is suffering. It depends on the on the kind of coven or condron that they are. Yes. Do you know that people can be in the same place, same environment? You will see that street. It's only big men that stay there. Yes. Eh? Yes, sir. Just one minute walk away. It's another street. The only thing you see is Mukuku. I think I'm preaching. Yes, sir. Huh? Oh, yes. It is possible. Do you know that all over the world, there is no place where you will not see the poor. Yes. In US, Australia, in Africa, in Europe, in Ireland, Caribbean, anywhere you enter, you will see. And this is part of the cities in a nation that everybody wants to go. But in that city, in a particular city of a nation, there are poor people that you will never dream of being like. Now, it is possible for us to be in Jobek, certain people are prospering, while certain people are facing calamity. Why? Because there's a boiling pot facing certain people. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. Is somebody hearing me? Yes. Am I going deeper? Now, in verse 14, then the Lord said, the Lord. said to me, uh -huh. Out of the north, calamity shall break forth. Out of the north, calamity shall break forth. My beloved, you must try to understand that where you are might not be a problem, but there's a problem coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh God. You, where you are, why should you say that South Africa is a bad nation? Why should you say Joburg is a city where there's no job, but in the midst of your complaint, people are buying cars, people are buying houses. You must try to understand that where you are coming from might be the direction where the calamity is coming from. Is somebody hearing me here? You never fought certain battle before until you met certain people. You must try to understand that when you start moving with certain people, who will follow them can follow you. Yes. Oh, Are you getting what I'm saying here? Yes, Are you getting what I'm saying here? Yes, it's a calamity. Calamity shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. Mm. Now listen to this. That means the boiling pot have a calamity therein. Yes. Mm. I hear you, sir. I want to pray for certain people here. Don't serve God because you want to make people feel you are going to church. Amen. Serve God because you know that your, your God is living. Amen. And don't remain in a position not is working and you are comfortable. Don't feel comfortable when there is discomfort. Amen. And you must try to understand that a problem will receive also a problem. Don't give problem trouble, give problem sorrow. Amen. And Jesus did something in John, John chapter 9. In John chapter 9, when you read from verse 3, when you, when you read from verse 3, okay, let's jump to verse 5 because of time. When you read from verse 5, that Jesus did was mysterious. John chapter 9. That which that Jesus did, can I tell you this? 
if you are not mysterious, you are not of God. Yeah. If you are not, if you are a kind of Christian that a witch can predict you, you are not, you are not of God. Yeah. You should be a Christian that you are driving through Joslovo, all of a sudden you dive to GP. They are waiting for you in just level. Yes, sir. But unknown to them, the spirit that dwells in you have taken you from their lane. Yes, oh. You are not getting what I'm saying? Yes, they might don't always follow one direction to walk every day. Don't allow people to understand your move. There are times they expect you to feel sorrowful you are smiling. You can be smiling, but it's, it's a very dangerous smile. Yes, oh, somebody's not hearing me. Yes, you can be smiling. But that your smile can be what? Can be dangerous. What I'm so much interested of is a port that is harboring your goodness. Because no man has the right to carry God. You must try to understand that God, God said you are God. So if you are God, how comes a man that is serving God have the ability to carry God? Are you about those idea? You are not getting what I'm saying. Okay. If the Bible says in Psalm 82 verses, it says, Ye are gods. So if Bible says ye are gods, how comes a man that is serving ordinary gods that is not known by God have the ability to carry you that is gods over God? Yes. <laughs> as long as I'm in the world, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Now, watch it. Jesus was coming from somewhere. Because there was a circumstances that happened in the life of a child that was blind. And Jesus began to trace. He said, this thing is not ordinary. This is the work of darkness. Yeah. And Jesus said, as long as I am in this world, I am still the light. Amen. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. You are the light of your father's house. Yeah. You are the light of your mother's house. Yeah. You are the light of the city. Yeah. You are the light of this city. Yeah. You are the light of this nation. Yeah. You are the light of Africa. Yeah. You are the light and you are the light. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. When he had said this thing. When he had said this thing. Now listen, hold that. Listen to me. In every situation you don't cry. Try to detect the cause. Oh, I hear you, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. We don't cry in this ministry. We make the problem to cry. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We can feel a bit bad in a short moment. Yes. Bible said, sorrow my endure all through the night, but in the morning, joy cometh. You must try to understand, you might pierce us, we feel the pain, but you must wait for our rod. Hey. Oh, but that is there. You are not getting what I'm saying. You might pierce us, and we, you, we feel the pain, but you must wait for what? For our rod. Jesus was not interested of the blindness, but Jesus was interested of those who caused the blindness and what they did to make the blindness to be upon the child. Who is responsible for your problem? There are so many of you, some Christians, you don't see vision, you don't have dream, you don't have trance, you can't even prophesy. Sometimes God don't see a reason to use you. Because you must be useful for you to be used. I think that is the right word. You must be useful for you to be what? To be used. How can you be a child of God? Every child of God must have a medium and avenue of hearing from their father. Is it not true? Just as earthly children hear from their father, spiritual children must hear from their spiritual God because the Bible said those who serve me must serve me in truth and in spirit. So it takes the spiritual children to serve a spiritual God. Can I pray for you today? Yes, sir. That place where you are living now, from today, people will begin to fear you. Yes, Why are you not shouting that in the world? Shout that in the fire. You will come out of the house, they will see you as God. You are walking on, on the street, they see you as God. You enter that office, they will see you as God. It came to my understanding that if men can consult an ordinary man to find solution, men should consult you to find solution because you are a carrier of the man that carries the solution. You are not hearing what I'm saying. We are not carrying idol. We are not carrying juju. We are not carrying youngers. We are carrying a living God. Men that are living must consult you to get a living God because a living God lives in a living man. I feel like prophesying here. In this service where you move, people will see the light. In your village, all hope might have gone, but when they see you, they will see hope. In your father's house, all hope might have gone. Everywhere my seems to be dark, but I come here to prophesy to the children of God. All hope might have been gone, but Jesus said, as long as I live in this 
walk. I have seen the light. You must try to understand that you are the light of this world. When you follow the light, you become a light. You are not hearing what I say. When you follow the light, you become a light. I don't know what is happening in your marriage. I don't know what is happening in your father's house. I don't know what is happening in your mother's house. I don't know what is happening in your family. Everywhere my seems to be dark. But they must try to understand that you are the light that is about to enter. I see you entering as a light. I see you entering as a light. I see you entering as a light. In the name of Jesus. In verse 5, take it to verse 5. We are doing something here today. Don't be in a hurry with the spirit. Allow the spirit to close before you close. Don't leave the spirit on assignment when the assignment is still on. If this is what we do today for this year, for this week, I'm, I'm always happy when I hear testimony. Amen. Any church where there's no testimony, there's no God. Amen. The proof of a living God in a living church is a living testimony. Amen. Say, I am a testimony. Amen. Say, I am a testimony. Amen. Say, I am a testimony. Amen. As long as I am in this world, I am the light of this world. And Jesus said that you are the light of this world. Amen. So, if you are following the light, become light. Amen. If you are following darkness, you become what? You become darkness. That's why I pity for those who are using charm, moti. You are running to younger that's supposed to run to you. You are running to a wish daughter that's supposed to run to you. I remember some time ago in 2014, a wish daughter traced me from Lipopo to our old church. You can still remember. A wish daughter traced me from Lipopo. I said, say, sir, please pray for me, man of God. I saw you in my dream. And that is why I came. I said, I said what of those who are coming to to meet you to help. He said, because they don't know the way. Thank God, most of the testimony I give here, it might, it, it might have been long, but there are people who still remember. Yes, a wish doctor from Lipopo. If you see him, the man is looking good. That means I have good clients. <laughs> oh, yes. Is somebody hearing me? Yeah? yeah, the man was looking fresh. The man was eating well. Yeah. Uh, can I tell you this? Over 50% are Christians. Yes. There are Christians who are serving God that if a man of God is to come and said, if your hands are clean, touch this Bible, many people will not touch it. Yeah. If they can, they say, if your hands are clean, and when the Holy Ghost is present, not the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Ghost is present, Holy Spirit can show mercy, but Holy Ghost kill. Amen. When Holy Ghost is present and the man of God is full of power and say if your hands are clean and you are a child of God, come and touch this Bible. <laughs> You'll see some people say, I'm going to Lou. <laughs> Why you didn't go to Lou before? <laughs> In the six, quickly because of time. When he had said this thing, he fell on the ground. When he had said this thing, uh huh. And he made a clay with the saliva. And he made a clay. Remember the first thing Jesus identified that this blindness was caused by the pass of darkness. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was caused by the pass of darkness, what were the things that was used? Hey, I don't know what is happening in my business. Hey, my business is up and down. First, check the powers and the altars that are responsible. Second, trace the things that were used to bring you down. Was it your money they took? Or they took the, the article you are selling. If you are working, was it your pay slip they took? Or they took your ID? Can I tell you this? There are people who want to fight you. They might not even approach you. They will just take the symbol of the company you are working. That is all. Mm. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. They don't, need to, they don't need to approach you. They will just take a photo of the symbol of your company. If your company do not have symbol, they will Google it. As long as they can get the name of where you are working <laughs> in a short while, they can take you off from that place. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. Who is stressing you? Yes, and who are taking what belongs to you? Yes, they smile with you, but their hearts are dark. Yes. They, 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 they discuss with you, but they are evil. Yes. They come to your house, they drink your water, they eat your food, but they are happy when you are crying. Yes, I come here in the name of the Lord. Yes, Every evil they have done against you by fire. Yes, as if they have done against you by fire. I said 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 by fire. In the name of Jesus. Did you hear that testimony? What that 
my daughter was saying this morning, sit down, let me teach you. They said, oh, don't worry, we are not going to kill him in a strange country. Let her bring herself to be killed. Then Christian will say, hey, that man, the way he's operating, I'm suspecting he's like an occultic man. Did he give you muti? Did he take you to any shrine? The evil people are busy killing, wasting. Imagine 21 healthy, industrious, intelligent girl just killed like that. Christians, never you be quiet when a soul from the kingdom of God is killed. Oh God. Christians, never you be quiet when a soul that is not yet fulfilled in the kingdom of God is killed. She used her leg to travel. And can you see that the death was mysterious? Mm. Those who were supposed to die didn't die. Yes. Those who flew out of the car, hit their head, hit their leg, they didn't die. Listen to this. It is not about the wound. It's about the conclusion. Yes. You will not die. Amen. One prayer I pray for you here. Whether you are a foreigner or you are a South African, I say you will not die. Those who are planning your death, they will die for you. Those who are waiting for you to die, they will die for you. Those who are planning funeral for you, we will attend your funeral. I say we will attend your funeral. In the name of Jesus. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Now when he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva. Now he was making it clear. Now Jesus was de demystifying certain mysteries that men do not know. Why was he making the clay? Because number one, he identified that the past of darkness was in the move. Now what he was trying to do was to untie this man with what was used to tie his eyes. He was trying to untie this man's eyes with the things that were used to untie the man. Remember some time ago when we went to the mountain? Immediately we climbed to the mountain. I said, okay, everybody go and pray on your own. While I was busy climbing the mall, climbing the mall to find a comfort place where I will, where, where, where I will stay and pray because we're fasting. Then all of a sudden, I entered under a tree. I found something like two liter, uh, two liter of Coke. Used already, cut already, and they make holes in this cake. Then what they did, they now tied the cake. Notice. A condom, evil pot, can be buried, partially buried, or suspended, hanged. Now, it depends on the mission of that pot. There are pot that is hanged, and a tree, a seed, is planted on it. As long as the seed can germinate on it, the person that is represented as a seed, as it, the seed grows, the man will never succeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When I get closer, what I saw was a uh, female menstrual what? pad. Yes. Yes. Then they put sand in it and they planted something inside it. That's why you see that some people, they can never have fruit of the womb. Some people, they will have all controllable flow of blood. And now it's being tagged as issue of blood. That is why you see some people, they will have sicknesses they cannot explain. That is why you see some people, they will develop un un unbearable smell. I think I'm teaching here. Yes, sir. Then I went closer. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen. and by the power of Calvary, expire. Amen. I lose it. I was losing it. Then it's like, one of the people I went with, he was look, the person was looking at me. I said, Daddy, is everything all right? I said, things are right with me, but it's not right with them. Amen. Yeah. Can you say that? Say, things are right with me. Things are right with me. But not right with my enemies. Amen. Enemies, amen. I quietly I say, Ash, I wish this person can I can know this person that is they did this thing to the person must have prayed. It was her prayer that carried me there. Your prayer is about to carry your helpers. I said, Your prayer is about to carry your helpers. I said, Your prayer is about to carry your helpers in the name of Jesus. I quietly, I lose it. Then I spoke to the sand. I said, son, hear ye now the words of the living God. Amen. You are a dead son. You cannot fight a living son. 
everything they have done to you to destroy this life, look for the man who did this and fight your own. Amen. Then I spoke to the part. I said, part every damages you have caused in the life of this person from today, stop it. Amen. What men made cannot fight a man that God created. Yeah. You didn't get me. What men made cannot fight a man that God created. How can a part fight a man that God created? My beloved Bazawan, you are hearing me and you are hearing me well. I don't want to care what they are using against you. As long as that thing was gotten from this earth, today is stop working. I said today is stop working. I said today is stop working. You don't make the name of Jesus. They took sand from your shop. From that day, customer do not come again. They took something and wiped the chair in your office. From that day, promotion never came. They enter your house, they said they were praying with you. I'm not telling you they are praying evil prayer. From that day, that bread will never come. Where is the God of justice? Where is the God that answered by fire? Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Elisha? Where is the God of Joshua? In this morning service, let there be judgment. Let there be judgment. Over your career, let there be judgment. Over your health, let there be judgment. Over your ministry, let there be judgment. I said, let there be judgment. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. For more information, please contact Christ and His Church Ministries International. Feel this.